I've had this question a lot from parents. How do I protect my children from the leftist ideologies that surround them everywhere they go? In this short video, I'm going to give you some practical steps that you can take to shield your children from the worldly influences that are all around them without overprotecting them or becoming a helicopter parent. Overprotecting them is not going to arm them for the battle that they have that's coming ahead, but underprotecting them can cause them to become confused and not know what's true and what's not true. So let's get right into it. Number one, screen, movies, TV, and games. You probably are rightly concerned about the content that they might be consuming in the media, and it's really hard to keep them from watching things that aren't gonna undermine what you're trying to teach them at home. It used to be that you could trust uh, companies like Disney or Nickelodeon or any of those, but that was decades ago. You really can't trust them now. They're not only allowing some content that might be a little bit objectionable now, they are promoting and purposefully putting out content that's going to be pushing the leftist ideologies. A great resource that can help you as a parent in this realm is PluggedIn.com. This is an invaluable resource for parents, so you can see all the things to watch out for and make a very formed decision before allowing your children to see movies or other sources. They review and give details about foul language, spiritual content, drugs and alcohol use, sexual content, and just about anything that you could find objectionable. Before I buy a movie ticket, for my, even for myself, or for my kids when they were younger, or my grandkids now, I always check their reviews first. I'll put a link in the description below so you can find that easily. Number two, be selective with their friends and acquaintances. I know the old idea is that it isn't up to a parent to choose their children's friends for them. That may be true in part. You can't decide who they'll be happy and enjoy hanging out with but you can choose who they can't hang out with. If you see that your children are choosing friends that have some behavioral problems or emotional issues, or that their families live a lifestyle that's contrary to the things that you are teaching at home, or even if they promote lifestyles, support lifestyles that are against the things that are in your own convictions, it isn't wise to allow them to grow those friendships. The first way to regulate that is to keep your children around families who support the same belief systems as you have. And they can support you in raising your children to value these standards. When your children are all grown up, they will have every opportunity to choose any friends they want. They get to do that completely by themselves. But remember when they're young, friends are a huge influence. Don't let those influences undermine what you're trying to teach. Number three, give reasons for your beliefs. I know many of the parents who are concerned about the world influencing their children at this point are Christians. But even if you aren't, maybe you're Jewish or some other faith, you still need to let your children know the reasons why you believe what you believe. Just stating that the Bible says so, or that this is what we have always believed forever or a long time, isn't a sufficient answer to allow your children to navigate through the leftist ideology that they're going to find in the world around them. They're going to encounter it just about everywhere they go as they grow up. So take the time to explain to your children why you believe what you believe and that your beliefs matter and are important. If you're a Christian, I would suggest that you arm them with scripture verses, memory verses, and so on that can help them and guide them through their lives. You can do this through scripture songs and scripture memory games, or you can do that with the parent recordings that I talk about on some of my bedtime battle videos. I'll put some links in the description below for that as well. Number four, help them learn critical thinking and logic. The other day I was talking to someone who was completely against Christianity and God and the Bible. I knew she was, so whenever I'm discussing things with her, I don't talk about the Bible and God. It doesn't help because she doesn't believe that anyway. But what's really great is God's plan and His Word is logical. And so you don't really have to mention God and the Bible when you're talking to someone who doesn't believe it if you just pick the logic out of it and just present that logic to them. God's plan is full of logic. 
if you just look at the why of his word. So your children need to be able to think out and reason logically as to why the things that are in his word or that you believe work in the lives of people and in our culture. Which brings up number five, set up challenges and debates. Set a regular time when you and your children can sit down and talk about leftist ideologies where you can reason out the logic and answer those questions. I also want to suggest that you listen to The Daily Wire. Listen to Matt Walsh and to Michael Knowles. They often will set out a lot of logic and reason when they're talking about the different things that are happening in the culture. Now you can listen to them on YouTube or in any podcast server. Um, you don't actually have to be a Daily Wire member to hear their daily commentaries. So I would suggest you do that. But I do not suggest you let your children listen to that um, until they're at least about 13 or 14 because some of the subject matter is really not appropriate for younger children. Number six, point out news bias in the media. I don't think you need to keep your children completely away from the media or the leftist news sources. I think those things can be an opportunity to help them see the bias that is in the media. For example, when you watch a news program with them or you watch a piece of news footage with them, you can point out how the title is leaning one way or another. It's showing what the reporter's opinion is about the piece or when they're interviewing people, how they're interviewing a whole bunch of people on one side and maybe just barely covering the other side, or maybe in between the interviews, how their commentary in between tells what the reporter really thinks about the subject. Show them that the way the media is reporting is trying to sway people to one side in order for them to believe what they want them to believe about the story. And although it's true on the main media sources, most of them are absolutely left, obviously, there are also some right-leaning um, media sources, and you can show them the same thing there. And you might agree with one or the other, mostly people listening to me probably agree with the right one, but if you do, that's okay. You still want them to see the bias in the report so that they can pick that out and they can understand that that happens when the media gives news. They need to know that the media is biased in general. By knowing this, they're going to be able to make up their own mind and they're going to be able to do it by recognizing those leanings that the reporter is doing in their reports. Number seven, homeschool. Obviously, this is the most important shield you can use to protect your children from the left. Public schools have been pushing leftist ideology. They've been pushing BLM, they've been pushing critical race theory and the LGBT ideologies. Um, that is just happening in the public schools at this point. I know that a lot of people try to say, oh, that's not happening in my school, that's not happening here. I guarantee you that if they are in a public school, some of that is going on and they are being influenced in some way towards those leftist ideologies. There are numerous examples from all over the country about how that's happening. If you're still skeptical, you can look up the National Education Association's website and you can see how they are pushing those leftist ideologies like BLM and um, LGBT and all that kind of thing. And I know there are good teachers in public school. I am aware of that. But when you send your children to public school, you do not have any option of deciding who is going to be their teacher and how they're going to be influenced and what staff members are going to be around them. You don't have any control of that at all. Most of the teachers in the public school are going to be members of the National Education Association and therefore they're supporting those ideologies. So expect that if your children attend a public school, they are going to be in a classroom that is going to promote those ideologies. So basically at this point, Sending your children to a public school is like sending them to a leftist indoctrination camp in the end. So find alternatives if homeschooling won't work in your situation. You can check out homeschool co-ops, um, online resources, or even private schools that will uphold the values you're trying to teach your children. Number eight, flood them with knowledge. Most of the things that I've listed here are giving your children knowledge. Information and logic put together are the best shield for your children against leftist ideologies. 
those are the tools that they can use to protect themselves and that you can use to help protect them. Leftism is full of contradiction and illogical theology. So the best way to arm your children against that? Logic and knowledge. If you found this video helpful, please remember to subscribe and click on one of the cards on the screen now to find more videos about how you can be the most effective parent you can be. Parents, if you're struggling, something needs to change and you can do this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you here next week.